Photo Travels, Episode 65, Collecting Mongongo Nuts. Mandy and Tweed joined some women who greeted Mandy with smiles. Twee gave Mandy a cloth bag to hang over her shoulder. You put the nuts in here, said Twee. The women headed off into the bushes. Mandy looked for Vinny, but he had already left. The women and girls reached some tall trees and then split up. Each woman worked under a tree, collecting the nuts on the ground. I'll be over there, grinned Twee, pointing to a nearby tree. Wait, what do the nuts look like? cried Mandy. Look, smiled Twee, as she picked up an egg-shaped nut. This is the Mongongo. Then Twee left Mandy to gather the strange nuts. Well, thought Mandy, at least I'm not doing anything horrible like hunting. Meanwhile, Vinny was watching Kashi as he reached into a small cloth bag. Pay attention, said Kashi, holding up an arrow. We will add the poison now. Poison? asked Vinny nervously. Hold this arrow, Vinny, said Kashi. Vinny held the arrow carefully. These are beetle larvae, explained Kashi, holding up some small yellow things. They contain poison. He squeezed some liquid from one larva. Then he put it on the arrow. We shoot the animal and the poison goes into the blood, said Kashi. Soon the animal dies. Another man named Gao came running up. We have spotted the birds, he said. Do you shoot birds? asked Vinny. Kashi shook his head. Birds circle in the sky above a dying animal. We are close to an animal we shot yesterday. We must go and carry it back to the village. Meanwhile, Mandy was thinking that picking nuts wasn't much fun. Mandy, how many have you got? Twee walked over to her. Twee's bag was overflowing with nuts. Mandy only had a few. How did you get so many so fast? asked Mandy. We learn how to pick mongongo nuts when we are very young, said Twee, grinning. Watch. She bent down. Her hands moved quickly back and forth on the ground. Then she stood up, smiled, and used only her toes to pick up a nut. Mandy laughed and clapped her hands. <laughs> That's amazing! The other women gathered together and emptied their bags on the ground. The nuts are heavy, so we crack the shells off here explained Twee. Then our bags are much lighter for the journey home. Good idea, said Mandy. Oh, while we're here, Twee said, I want to show you something. Mandy followed Twee to a small cave. At the opening, they found a rock with some paintings on it. These are drawings my ancestors made, said Twee. They tell a story about our people. Mandy could see animals and dancing men on the rock. The men had animal features, too. Some had horns, others had lion's legs. This is the object in the photo, shouted Mandy. What do you mean? cried Twee. So, why am I still here? thought Mandy. Mandy.